Hello, I'm Sabrina Rubenstein, and on this beautiful Sunday morning, I am here with a wonderful group of protesters in Westerly, Rhode Island, in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. All right, and I see you're wearing a lot of things about voting, and with the election coming up, what is your main concern about the upcoming election? There's so many concerns, but basically I have probably two that are my top of my list. One is climate change, and the other is the inequality that we're facing in our country for black and brown people, people in poverty. Uh, so those are my two, but I can name 10 more. <laughs> <laughs> and who in this upcoming election do you think will benefit the black and brown communities more? Well, I think it'll be Biden, but I still think we'll probably be out here making sure that we continue to make our voices heard because it's just one person and we really need the uh, local people and, and um, to keep this as, in the forefront of everyone's mind. It's not going to change overnight, even with Biden as a president. Well, it's obvious Trump is a racist and he has been uh, all his life. So just for starters, uh, just right there, Joe Biden, but Joe Biden's a decent man and uh, he's not a racist. He's a man who really stands for all Americans, from working class to those of color. Uh, everyone, whites, <laughs> right, blacks, people of color, uh, rich and poor, he's somebody that uh, can empathize with all sides. Not only that, but he's an extremely decent man that has suffered and, and uh, come out on top of it, right, and learned what it is to lose your loved ones. Something Trump doesn't understand. So earlier you were talking about how it's important to be informed about the people you're voting for. So can you elaborate on that? I think that it, while it's important to know who you're voting for on a presidential scale, because obviously that is extremely important, especially in an election like the one we're experiencing now, it's important to know who you're voting for on a local level because that affects your community and the people around you and the people you care about. It affects them personally, it affects them daily. Um, just being here, protesting the past few weeks i've seen racism in this community i've seen people react horribly and say extremely racist things say that black lives don't matter so it's the idea that this community is already racist so we have to elect people into town council onto school committee into the local um government that will at least be willing to listen to the idea that systemic racism exists what is your recommendation to people voting in the upcoming election? Well, to vote, I guess that's all I can say. The re, you know, in person, I'm going to vote in person because this is a relatively safe, very safe uh, area in terms of COVID. But I can't speak for others. So uh, mail-in voting is a great idea. Not everyone should do it. I actually think it should be a requirement that every citizen casts a vote, even if it's none of the above, so that everybody has to participate. Democracy. I think uh, that would be a good thing. And what is your recommendation to young voters and people who may not be completely educated on both of the candidates? Well, there's still time to find out. Uh, definitely read uh, both sides and realize that it's about our values, I think. And the young people, I'm so proud of them, to tell you the truth. I have several grandchildren. They're all very aware and they're very uh, up on the latest and they talk about it and discuss it. So I think young people, there's a lot of forums out there to hear. Of course, you always have to be careful of what, what is the source. Where is that coming from? And to see many different points of view. Even I find that hard. But I want, uh, uh, the young people are such an important part of the future. They're important right now, at this moment. So I don't even say the future, but um, yes, I think uh, they have to keep themselves informed, talk about it, and read as much as they can, and be open. We're approaching a very important date. That date is Election Day on November 3rd, 2020. If you are above the age of 18, please get out there and vote, because your vote matters. No matter if you are Democrat or Republican, please vote for the candidate you think will help our community, our world, and our lives the most. Your vote on November 3rd will determine which candidate helps Black America. And that is what this series is all about. Helping those who have been suppressed by systemic racism for hundreds of years. Joe Biden is the candidate you should vote for if you are looking to help the Black community.
So please, don't forget to get out there and vote on November 3rd, 2020. For more information, go to vote.org. Thank you for watching.